Hello everyone, welcome to Zoologist Network. Before we get started, I have something important to tell you. Take a listen. Let's go! Let's go! You already know what it is. Let's go! What's poppin' everybody? Welcome to Zoologist Network. Welcome to a new season. Let's celebrate Zoologist Network. We're calling it the celebration season, also known as season seven. These new episodes will make you feel like you're in heaven. Before we get started on this brand new season, I'm rapping for you for this exact reason. My name is Gold Sonic. Listen to my flow. I started rapping bars not too long ago. I'll be still be teaching you about stuff you wanna know about things that crawl, swim, and walk the earth like I've been doing since the show's birth. Wait, hold on. But before we get started with episode 101, I got an announcement to make. Yes, I'm not done. I'm in a movie called Max Rich. I'm directing it and making the soundtrack for it. And I'm doing it with my best friend, Jay Rubin. Calm down, Zoom Network fans. It's almost the end. I'll be playing the main villain, Dr. Andrew Fisher. Movie will be out soon. Jay Rock will keep you posted for sure. But today we'll be talking about zoology. I know it's something you like. But for now, let's get started. Let me drop the mic. Zoology. We've used this word a lot in the past 100 episodes, but what does it mean? What does zoology mean? Well, in a nutshell, it's it's a it's the study of animals. So you know how I say zoologist? That's a person who studies animals. So I know a lot of my animals, and I'm. I'm not in college yet, but you get the gist. So it's a branch of biology that deals with the study of animals. So I'm put so I'm put a pronunciation. Zoo means is a is a prefix for animals. Suffixology means the study of. So study of animals. There are a lot of diff- there are a lot of different branches of zoology. There's etymology, the study of entomology, the study of insects, not to be confused with the word, origin of a word. Ornithology, the study of birds. Herpetology, mammalogy, the study of reptiles is herpetology. Mammalogy is the study of mammals, and etiology is the study of fish. They also expand way more. For example, with cetaceans, marine mammals, that's cetology. There's 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 primatology like Jane Goodall. There are a lot of there are a lot of uh, different zoology branches. I'm not gonna name all of them. We've talked about classifying animals before, but I'm gonna go more into it. Classifying animals is putting the animal in its place, like in its family, like naming the animal basically, which is also called binomial nomenclature, it's because the rat has two names, like this rat up here, rat and ratus ratus. So the kingdom is the second largest part of the part of the animal's classification. The largest is domain. Domain, li- anim- life, kingdom, animalia, phylum, chordata, which means vertebrate, which means it has a spine, mammalia, which means it's a mammal, rodent, it's a rodent, family, muridae, that means it's a, that means it's part of the mouse family, and Radis, genus Radis, like the first name and the second name species, is in species, so R. Radis. 
Animalia, Cordata, Lamalia, Rodentia, Muridae, Radis, or Radis. And that's how you classify a rat. Their biodiversity is is also a short way to say biological diversity. Bio meaning biological and diversity meaning you know what diversity is. There are more, there are a hundred thousand types of birds and twenty and more than two twenty thousand types of plants. There are millions of animals. We're not going to count them all. There are three types of biodiversity. Species diversity is defined as the number of and abundance of different species to occupy a location. There is also genetic diversity, which is the different genetic material within a species within a population, like these dogs. The third type of biodiversity is ecological diversity. And this is the variations of in the ecosystems found in a region or the variation of ecosystems that take over the whole planet. This includes terrestrial and aquatic. Look at this picture of a forest. How many people do you know would like to go through walk through this right now? I know I would. But look at this picture. It's not as beautiful as the last picture, right? I don't think so. But that's what happens when you smoke in the forest. That's also what happens when you're irresponsible. That's called deforestation. That is bad. You know why? Because it cuts off circulation to everyone. Trees help us breathe. And that's why de deforestation is bad, especially for the forest animals. Only you can prevent wildfires. Conservation is what is the safety of animals. How you can help? Clean up a beach. That's all called land restoration. You should not really land restoration, but still, you get my point. That's what I call it. That's what I call it. Don't take everybody else's stuff. Take mine. I call it land restoration. But seriously, clean up a beach. It'll do a lot. One of the things. Use, don't cut down trees. Timber is, what was that saying I had before? Timber is no good. It's no good. How about that? No good at all. No more timbers, okay? Thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. I'm not going to say it again. Goodbye.